messenger of Allah said, the blood money of Al Dima is half that of the blood money for Muslims. Do you accuse that of lying? Is that a lie? Is that a lie? Silence. And here, we only get judged on the one book. So, we don't have that same equal rights. We don't have the same equal rights. We don't. So, Jihadi want to be. I'm not fighting anyone. I'm not fighting anyone. Are you still trying to be scary? Are you still trying to be scary? You look like a discount ninja. So when the Christian pushed the Muslim back, he got all aggressive. Like a wannabe jihadi punk. Your scholars run. Ali Dawa runs. Shamsi runs. Muhammad Hijab runs. They all run. The Dawa team is beaten intellectually in this part. The blood money paid for the death of a Christian is half that of a Muslim. Do you condemn that law? For that, I shake your hand and I say you're a good man. But the reality is, you're better than your prophet and you're better than your religion. No, you don't want to, you don't want to? Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, the, waffle, the waffle has got a question. What was your... What, what, what's your best reason for rejecting Christianity? Prove it. Prove it. Tell me one lie. Tell me one lie. Name one. Name me one lie. So, so no. So you haven't got one. You haven't got a single example. So you haven't got one example. You haven't got one example. Have you got one example? Yeah. Brother, and literally, uh, uh, someone, someone who had listened to the Dawa team and was convinced by the Dawa team has just come and told me they became a Christian just over there right now. So I became a Christian? Yes, I became And they had been absorbed in the Dawa. That's to them. They'd been absorbed. They'd not taken Shahada. They'd not taken Shahada. But they've now become Christian. Give me one example. I've seen all the work. One. Every single one of them. One example. Okay. So one of the one of the claims that I've made. One of the claims that I've made is that Islam creates one what one of the examples that I've given then is that Islam treats Christians as second class citizens in law. How? Is that a lie? How? How? When God says, right, that, great, when God go on. says the Christian and the Jews are the people of the book. Right. Shut up. So that's a lie, is it? Let me show you. Let me show you an example. Don't show me nothing. No, no. Oh, why are you scared of an example? Why are you, why are you scared of an example? I don't Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's. Uh, you just no, accused me of lying. You've just accused me of lying. You've just accused me of lying. Right? Whoa, whoa, look, look, look! He's running now. He's running. He's running. What a surprise! He's running. He's running. He's running. Paul. Paul. Paul, how you doing? You're right. Congratulations on your channel. I see it's doing very well. Yeah. Okay, he does. Paul doesn't want to have another debate. Ah, okay. Right. Right. Paul of blogging theology, who criticizes Christianity all the time, is running from another debate. So, so Sunan, Sunan Al Nisai, the messenger of Allah said the blood money of Al Dima is half that of the blood money for Muslims. And they are the Jews and the Christians. You see, you weren't listening, were you? Listen, the messenger of Allah said the blood money for the Al Dima is half that of the blood money for the Muslims. And they are the Jews and Christians. Now, do you agree with that? Why are you coming to the person? Do you agree that with that? Is not a scholar. But I don't, I'm not a scholar. But you accuse me of lying. You are a liar. I've because, just shown no, you evidence. Because, because, because you went debating against the scholars, and they proved you a liar. Okay, do me yeah, a thought experiment. Can, no, 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 if we passed a law no, saying, if we if we passed a law in this country, if we passed a law in this country that said that if someone killed you, the punishment is half that than if they killed me, based on based on your ethnicity, would 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 that be a, would 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 you condemn that? Your scholars run, Ali Dawa runs, Shamsi runs, Muhammad Hijab runs. They all run. 
you know the Dawa team is beaten huh? intellectually you know in this park. You are worth what is your know? belief? Do you agree with this? Do you agree with the statement? Do you agree with the statement? The messenger of Allah said, the blood money of the Al Dima is half that of the blood money for Muslims, and they are Jews and Christians. Do you agree with that? Why are you asking me a question now? Why am I asking you a question? You accused me of lying, and I'm demonstrating with evidence that you have no answer to the argument. You have no answer to the argument. You have no answer. You and why don't yeah. you have an answer? I'll give you the because and you're I'll intellectually I'll bankrupt. I'll Islam is I'll intellectually I'll bankrupt. You're a good liar. I've given you evidence. Yes, I agree. You're Muhammad a is a liar. liar. I've quoted Muhammad to you. Very good. And you have called Muhammad a liar. Never. Yes. You didn't say that. Yes, you did. There you go. Yes, See, you did. So, so is exactly. this a lie? This is what you do. The messenger of Allah do. said the blood this money of Al Dima is half that of the blood money for Muslims. Why? Do you accuse that of lying? Is that a lie? Is that a lie? Silence. Is that a lie? Silence. 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 Do you see, when you're confronted with evidence, they've got nothing to say. You've got nothing to say. So, in a light where you're giving a benefit of doubt. So, go on, give it the benefit of doubt. Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Go on, explain it. Yeah, go on. Your position is that you look at this religion as false, right? That's for you to deal with, not, not me, not him. Not and about him. the apartheid no, system no, no, of Islam? No, 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 no. Answer hey, that. Hey, 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 you know, you're on hey, camera hey, running you from read, the right? debate right you now. Read, right? You're running from the debate right now. I don't, I'm not debating you. Yeah, you, can read, you right? are, you are debating me right now. You're debating me right now. Read, read, right? Me right now. You can read. But all you're doing is ad hominem. All you have to do, all yeah, you've got is ad hominem. Yeah. And ask yourself, uh, yeah. Are you and being what truthful? does the Quran say? And you, and you find what does the Quran say? It says Christians and Jews are the worst of creatures. You find yourself That's what your Quran as says. As yeah. That's what the Quran says. Yeah. Do you agree that we Christians and Jews are worst of creatures? Do you agree that? Do you agree that we Christians and Jews are worse than creatures? Then the unbelievers are the worst of creatures. Okay. So, so let's, let's, let's find it. Let's find it. Let's find it. Let's find it. I don't believe you practice the word faith. You are fake. You are so fake. Let's find it. I don't believe that. You are so fake and you run away. Always you run away. If that's the case, you will not be finding Go to Google. All these false Your religion. Your religion. In a religion is in your mind, not in your Google. Well, hey, listen, you find As always, the guys, they first deny. They first deny, then we present the evidence, and then they suddenly defend. That's what you're going to see. We heard the denial. You're a liar. You're a liar. In Surah 98, verse 6, it says, the kafiru among the people of the book and among the polytheists will be in hellfire to dwell therein. They are the worst of creatures. So is that a lie? Oh, it's not a lie. Oh, there we go. There we go. So first they deny, then we present the evidence, and then they defend it. So am I the worst of creatures? You are the worst. Because I'm a kafiru. Because I'm a kafiru. Because I'm a kafiru. Because I'm a kafiru. Yes. So Islam teaches anti Christian attitudes. Teachers anti Christian attitudes. Right. So, do you agree with the Quran? Do you agree with the Quran? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, right. Right. I'll let you talk and then we'll talk. Go on, go on, go on. By the way, you don't, you don't need to keep touching me. You don't need to keep, do you see how irritating that is? Is that irritating? It is irritating, isn't it? It's a bit irritating. Do you agree that that's irritating? Right. Are you going to stop then? All right, thank you. You. This guy here the bottom of clearly fire. are denying that you'll disbelieve it according to the Quran, sir. Yeah? Or not? Okay. You are you, there you go. You so you are the what I said God. was the that Islamic sources teach anti Christian attitudes. You accused me of lying. I have shown you from your hadiths that legally a Christian and a Jew 
Their life is valued at half that of Muslims. You talk now. And you have nothing to say. And then you accuse me of lying when I said that your Quran calls us the worst of creatures. And now I show you, suddenly they're defending it. So, do you agree with your Quran? When it says among the people of the book and among the polytheists will be in hellfire to dwell therein, they are the worst of creatures. Do you agree? The Christians and Jews are worst of creatures. Yeah, book you hold read it. You read it. Yes, I'm telling you, yes. He agrees. Do you agree? He's embarrassed by his book. And I don't blame him. He's embarrassed by his book and I don't blame him. You, you, you. Christian, Muslim for you, you go to hellfire or go to paradise. Because you don't trust the Quran. Like you, like you, are liar. you, you don't trust you the Quran. Will, you That's wise. You, you are a wise man. You don't trust this whatever book. Comes out your mouth, what does that comes say? Out your hands, What's that say? Comes out whatever your mouth, comes out of my mouth, I literally read his uh, Quran to him. We, we put on the screen, but see yeah, literally read. He said he does not trust what comes out of my mouth. So he does not trust these words. Those who reject the truth among the people of the book and among the polytheists will be in hellfire to dwell therein. They are the worst of creatures. Do you believe that? He does. There you go. Anti-Christian attitude being taught by Islam. Why are we scared? Why are we scared to address your Quran? Answer the question. Can you answer the question? So do you do you agree with the Quran? Do you agree with the Quran when it says the Christians like, and Jews yeah. are the worst of creatures? The one that is the truth. That's what it says right there. Let's read, Let's read it. Read it. I don't know if this I'll hold my Quran, please. I'll give it back to you. I'll hold it. There you go. Let me read it. No, I'm holding it. There you go. I'll hold my Quran for you. You can read it. There you go. What I'm holding you, it for you. What do you think about the Muslim? What they go hellfire or go to paradise? You, Christian, what do you think of Muslim? They go to paradise or Does go the to Bible hellfire? call you the worst of creatures? I'm asking you. No. I'm asking you a no, it doesn't. Way. It doesn't do call you the worst of creatures. If I don't believe in Jesus, if I don't believe in Jesus, if I don't believe in Jesus where do I go? If have you read in context? Where do I go if I don't believe in Jesus? Where have you read in context, sir? Where do I go? Okay. Okay. It's the same thing. Listen to your evil here. Here. Listen, evil, yeah? yeah. The reason so why. You said, you said, Christian. So, he said they go to hellfire too. Do you agree so with the Quran? Problem. Do you agree where with the Quran? Problem? Where is your problem? So, do you agree where with the Quran problem, that Jesus? Jews and Christians yes. are the worst of creatures? Look what he's saying. Why, where does he Jesus 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 say about that? Says it here, look. Yeah, yeah. Those who reject yeah. truth yeah. among yeah. the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? Jews and Christians. And amongst the polytheists will be in hellfire to dwell therein. They are the worst of creatures. Why? Right. Do you agree that they are the worst of creatures? Why are they the worst of creatures? They are the worst of creatures because Allah calls them the worst of creatures. Because they reject truth. So do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Yes, he does. Yes, he agrees. But Jews and Christians, because they reject Islam, are the worst of creatures. Islam teaches anti-Christian attitudes. No, let me challenge all three of you. Let me challenge all three of you. What question you want to answer? Show me in the Bible where it says you're the worst of Christians. Show me. No, that's not the list now. Show me in the Bible where it says you are the worst of Christians. Show me in the Bible. Show me. Go on. Go on. Show me. You're not scaring anyone. You're not scaring anyone. You're not scary. You're not scary. You're not scary. You're not yeah. Okay. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. Calm down. Calm, stop pushing. You're pushing. Uncle, uncle. Why are you pushing? Why 
Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing people? I'm not pushing. Yes, you are pushing people. You gave me my face and you're pushing people. You came up to me. Oh, he didn't say don't push to him. What a hypocrite. What a hypocrite. And why? Because what a Muslim does to a Muslim, they treat differently from what a Christian does to a Muslim. So when the Christian pushed the Muslim back, he got all aggressive, like a way of being jihadi pink. But when a Muslim pushed him, he had nothing to say about it. Nothing to say about it. So did he. So did he. So did he. So the same action was dressed completely differently by the same person. Why? Okay, let's stick to this topic. So let me explain my argument. Let me explain my argument. What is my argument? Why are they the worst of creatures? What is my argument? No. What is my argument? From what you showed me. What is my argument? You said you understood my argument. What is my argument? Let's deal with what you showed me. Can you say what my argument is? Let's deal with what Summarize you it in one sentence. I wasn't here the whole time. So you don't know what my so argument let's is. Deal with what you showed me. Shall I explain what my argument <laughs> is? Deal with what you showed me. Let me explain what my <laughs> argument <laughs> is. <laughs> right. Here's my argument. Here's my argument. Here's my argument. That Islamic sources demonstrate prejudicial attitudes towards Christians and Jews. That is the point. It's on camera. It's on camera. No, the Quran says, and we had a living example right on camera. Right example. The same action was committed by a Christian and a Muslim, and the Muslim only became enraged because of the Christian. But when the Muslim did exactly the same thing, the Muslim had nothing to say for it. What is your point? My point is, that under Sharia law, I would be turned into a second-class citizen. No, Why are you right? No. They say no. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. so, so, do you agree that because I reject the truth, I am the worst of creatures? Do you accept that it's the truth? Sir? No, I don't. Okay, so, so am I the worst of creatures? No, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to him. No, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to him. No, I'm talking to you. And you reject the truth. Yeah, am I the worst? There you go. No, ladies and gentlemen, if I went around saying that Muslims are the worst of creatures, would you condemn me for Islamophobia? I don't want to condemn Would you? Would you? You would, no, but yet you just heard a Muslim say that I'm the worst of creatures because I reject Islam. The double, you are, he says. You are, he says. You are, he says. And if I say that the Muslims are the worst of creatures, they would call me an Islamophobe. The double standards. Of Islam. Hello? I'm talking to you. Hello? Look at the Yaya. Look at the Yaya. Wait. No. Ladies and gentlemen. Let us respond then. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Respond. Go on. Respond. Go on. Respond. First of all, yeah. Under Sharia law, yeah. I believe the religious gets judged by their own books. Come on. I.e. like the Christians get judged by the Bibles. And the Jews get judged by the Torah. Go on. Right? That's under Sharia law. Same thing to your allies. Whereas here, we only get judged under one book. So we don't have that same equal rights. We don't have the same equal rights. We don't. Hold on. Islam provides you more. Not here. No, 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 this country, this country is only you. one law, one don't, system. Everyone gets judged by the one system. According to your Bible, according to your Bible, it gives you a choice here. Yeah. Yeah. You can get judged by the Bible, you can get judged by the by your own laws or by the laws of the land. Or the, or the laws of the land. Yeah? So what, what are you talking about? You're okay, so allow me Again, to reply. Man. Allow me to reply. So keep waffling. So, find yeah, I'm going to find something. Bear with us one second. So now you're going to go to the next subject, the topic. No, same topic. There you go. You same guy, topic. This guy will trap He's you. running away keep through on, rhetoric. Keep on, keep on. He's running away keep on, keep on. through rhetoric. Come on.
Yeah, it fell out of my pocket, man. What's your point? What do you mean, what's the point? It fell out of my pocket. What do you mean, what's the point? Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch him, Yeah. Oh, wait, you didn't say. It's his book. It's his book. No, it's my book. It's my book. It's my book. It's my book. Fell on the floor out of my pocket. Calm yourself down. So, you see, an accident that was caused by Allah. Allah caused my Quran to fall out of my pocket onto the floor. It was Allah's action that did that. I did not do it deliberately. But the Muslim bigot over there wants to blame me for Allah disrespecting his own book. This is not it. I put it in my pocket. Allah ordained the Quran to fall. Allah ordained the Quran to fall out of my pocket. And the Muslims blame me for what Allah did. No, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just explain my point. Let me just explain my point. Under Sharia law, and we've, we've got Muslims trying to intimidate a Christian over here. We've got a wannabe jihadi, a wannabe Islamist thug, trying to intimidate Christians. You're not scary, bro. You're not scary. You're not scary, you're just another one of Islamic jihadi punk I mean, in the park, <laughs> trying to be scary. But let me ask you this question. Yeah, I'm scary because I've got a mask on. You look like a discount ninja. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the messenger of Allah said that the blood money for the Christians and Jews is half that, is half that, that should be paid for Christians. Do you agree with that? What are you saying? Blood fire. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? No? I think he's mute. I think he wants to be mute because he does agree. You agree on you. Your prophet said that the value of my life is half that of yours. Why should I not condemn your prophet for turning me into a second class citizen? Wait, you're listening right now, bro. You're listening right now, bro. No, ladies and gentlemen, every single Muslim around us would condemn the British government as Islamophobic if we treat the Muslims like Muhammad is saying to treat Christians and Jews. If we passed a law saying that the life of Muslims and Christians, sorry, the life of Muslims was worth uh, half that, was worth half no, that, that's not a way to was worth half that of everyone else, they would condemn it as Islamophobia. But yet they want me to accept it that their religion teaches that I should be tried as a second class citizen. I refuse to accept it. And if you can't defend it, then maybe you shouldn't accept it as well. If you can't defend the discriminatory practices of your prophet, maybe you should reject the teachings of your prophet. We saw in the Old Testament that the Bible teaches that the foreigner should be treated the same as the native born. That's what the Bible says. But Muhammad says we Christians and Jews should be made second class citizens. I ask you, which is better? The biblical teaching the or the Quranic teaching? Shall I give you the reference of your Bible which contains right, your, you as well? Can you talk on the topic? We are on the topic. On the topic. On the topic. Okay. According to your Bible, non believers they are not equal to believers. According to your Bible. And this is your Bible reference if you want to check. The Bible is telling oh, you. Can I uh, give the reference? The Bible is telling you. Okay. So you I mean, need to be. A believer first, I will. then to read a Bible. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Are you a believer of a Bible? I am. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay.
13. 15, 12, 13. What does it say? Hell non, hell non believer. That was in so, war. Yeah. Why I sign war? It's that was in okay. war. So fair enough. Kill the fair enough. Okay. Hey, how long did it take me to dismantle his script? I'm going to tell you another one. The two number is 13, 13, 19. Kill the entire town if one person worship another god. There's no war here. There's no war. But even one person, you need to kill the entire town. Is that is that equal let's, for anyone? Let's actually that, look. That's the Prophet Muhammad. What does the and Bible say in Exodus 23:9? Do not oppress the foreigner. You yourselves know how it feels to be a foreigner because you were foreigners in Egypt. Right. Leviticus 19.34 The foreigners residing amongst you must be treated as native born. Love them as you love yourselves. That is very different from how the Quran says that I should be treated. Why are you shouting? Can why, you, can you why, read why, why are you threatening people? Can you read? Wait, wait, wait. Can you why, why read? Why you people? No, no, come back here. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Why, why, why are you threatening people? Why, why are you threatening people? 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 No, no, you don't need to come down. Why are you threatening people? This is what will happen in towns across England when Christians and Jews are a minority. It already is happening in Pakistan. It already is happening in northern Nigeria. It already is happening in Afghanistan. It already is happening in Morocco. Open your eyes. The media are lying to you. Did you Can you read the video verse? Be so, seven. Jihadi wannabe. Jihadi wannabe. Come, I want to talk to you. Jihadi wannabe. Jihadi wannabe. So, Jihadi wannabe. Right. You, you want. Yeah, right. Jihadi wannabe. Jihadi wannabe. Answer my question. Jihadi wannabe. Jihadi wannabe. So, Jihadi wannabe. What's wrong with you? You're not fighting anyone. I'm not fighting anyone. Are you still trying to be scared? Are you still trying to be scared? You look like a discount ninja. You look like what he wants to look like. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you're saying to yourself. It doesn't matter what you're saying to yourself. You're not scary. I'm not trying to be scary to you, brother. Discount ninja. Discount ninja. Stop hiding. Do you want to be jihadi? Stop hiding behind the discount ninja. Keep distance. Keep distance. Right. Stop talking to him. That's it. Right. So. Move it forward. So. Move it forward. So. Please okay. Turn around, leave us alone, brother. Le leave, leave when you're threatening my brother. Wait, wait, wait. When you're threatening my brother. Threaten him. I didn't threaten him, no. So now you're changing your mind. He threatened Two me. Two seconds ago you said you threatened he him, now you're saying you never. Ladies and gentlemen, we must make a choice. And that choice is will we be like the wimpy Christians of England or will we be like the muscular Christians of Lebanon and like the muscular Christians of Serbia who stood up against Islamist thugs, defended their communities and refused to be treated as second-class citizens by Muslim jihadi wannabes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we notice that the Muslims have no reply to the argument. None. We challenge them on their own sources. They accuse us of lying. We present their sources to them and then they defend it. You heard on camera three Muslims say that Jews and Christians and Sikhs and polytheists were all the worst of creatures. The worst of creatures. And atheists. Why should we tolerate that? Why should we turn a blind eye to it? Why should we ignore it? 
Why shouldn't we stand up to it? So, so since, since, since we're taught, let me ask you this question. According to Sharia law, I'm not a professional. And neither am I. According to Sharia law, the value of my life is worth half that of yours. Do you agree or disagree with that? We're human beings with the same, same species. We're yeah, I agree. We're human beings with the same species. We, we deserve the same, the same uh, respect yes. as long as, as, we, as we follow the guidelines of being a human. Right. Now, that's what you say and I applaud you for it. I applaud what you say. Mm. I agree with every single word that you have said. But now let's compare what you have said with what your prophet said. Here's what your prophet said. Right? Your prophet said, the messenger of Allah said, the blood money for the Jew and the Christian is half the blood money for Muslims. Do you agree with that? You can read it right now. Sunan al Najah 4806 from sunnah.com. We've even got the Arabic for you. Okay. So, we're not, we don't, we're not that educated on that, exactly. but we need to give a context so on why it was said. Okay. It's a lie, it's a lie one. So, it's Yes. It's the money that is paid if someone is killed accidentally, like if I run you over in my car. Yeah. So, your family. Yeah, exactly. So, it says, according to your Islamic sources, that the value of my life is half that of yours. If we let do a thought experiment with me. Do a thought experiment with me. If we if we passed a law in this country that said the value of your lives because you're Muslims is half that of my life because I'm a Christian, would you condemn that as Islamophobic? I'll ask my question. Would, would you would you I want you to answer my question. My question is, my question is. If the British government passed a law, if the British government, if, thank you, even he, even your younger is trying to teach your manners. He's teaching your manners. Even your younger is teaching your manners. Yes, he is teaching your manners. Right. So, yes. So, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. So, if the British government passed a law, that said the value of your life because you're a Muslim is half that of my life because I'm a Christian. Would you condemn that law as Islamophobic? Yes. That's yes. He's talking about life, he's talking about money. Right, blood money. Blood as well, we right. need the context. You're picturing it as black and white. So what's the context? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't read the whole Brother. Brother. I don't know everything. Brother, yeah. tell him, show me in the end of the hadith. Is it so. right or wrong? In the so. end of the hadith, it says so. So. or right. So. I don't know. Tell him, ask him. It's given is Hassan. He, he, What's Hassan mean? Hassan is, is not Sahih. Sa Hassan Sa means good. No, no, hold on. Sahih means weak. Yeah. Hassan, Hassan, Hassan means good. No. Sahih means reliable. Yes. Hassan, Hassan hadith are used in fiqh. They are used in fiqh. They are used in Islamic jurisprudence. So that argument doesn't work. This is a good hadith. No, no sahih. It's a good hadith. Sahih. It's a Hassan hadith. To get, no. To get to the world. I'll give you an example. In Saudi Arabia, right now, blood money paid for the deaths of Christians and Jews, Christian workers, migrant workers, in Saudi Arabia, is half that of what is paid for Muslims. Do you condemn the Saudi Arabian government for that law? That's the law of the land. Do you condemn it? I don't know. That's the Islamic You don't know if you condemn it. My question is, in, in Saudi Arabia, right now, today, the blood money paid for the death of a Christian is half that of a Muslim. 
Do you condemn that law? Then you are a good man, but you've condemned Islam because Saudi Arabia is following Sharia law. You're a good man. I can shake your hand. The government, isn't, this, the government doesn't, isn't the same as what the religion says. So why do you think the Saudi Arabian government has that law? I don't know, it's just the law of the land. Do you think it might be because of a Hassan hadith do you know, like this do you one know, sir, that actually Saudi, says that? They sell in alcohol. They're not allowed to sell alcohol. Wait, wait. So, They're not allowed oh, to sell sorry. alcohol in Saudi. Oh. They're not allowed to sell, but they sell, in, alcohol. Oh. they sell alcohol. It's in. They sell alcohol. It's in. So, Sunan yeah, and Nisai 4806 There's your reference And this is from Sunnah.com Right, is Sunnah.com a Christian web uh, a Christian website? Is it a right-wing neo-Nazi website? Is it an Islamic website? I think so, yeah. Right. So that's an Islamic website telling Muslims that Christ, the life of the Christian is worth half that of a Muslim. Do you condemn that website? I don't know. I need to look at the context. No, I'm asking if you condemn the website for saying that. Don't say nothing. Don't condemn. Don't say nothing. If you don't know, say you don't know. It says this he doesn't know about the Christian uh, blood money is half the worth of a Muslim blood money. He's saying, do you condemn Sunnah.com? I'm saying, I don't know the hadith, so I can't condemn or, or anything. No, we're not I'm not Hassan, scholar. I'm not scholar. I need to It's not Hadith. It's not Hadith Sahih. Yeah, yeah, Hassan. They, they, Hassan, Hassan is good. No, but it's not You're sahih. lying. It's not Sahih. Hassan is good. Hassan is good. He follows Sahih. He's good. He follows Sahih. He don't teach us how we follow. Yeah, know. He's going to teach us Islam. Teach yourself how to follow evil. Evil. Right. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Mishkat al Masibi 554. He also reported that the Prophet said, When there is red blood, he must give a dinar, and when there is yellow blood, half a dinar. So that's talking about the idea if I bruise you, yeah, if I bruise you, that's blood, but it's under the skin, so it's half a dinar. If I cut you, that's red blood, so it's more. Do you agree with that? Right, now think what you've just done. Think what you've just done. Yeah, right? Right, right. So, so what, what's just happened there is that one hadith, one hadith, has just look, these guys are just going to distract you. Are you talking to me or talk, looking at him? Are you looking, talking to me or looking? Okay, right, right. Listen, listen. You run, bro. You run. You had your chance to debate. You run. You run. What hadith is this? Okay. You said if if I if someone hits me. So what what basically we've established is the principle that if the damage is less, the, the payment is less. Agreed. A bruise is less than a cut, so you pay less for the bruise than you do for the cut. That same principle is being applied to Christians. In other words, it is half the crime to kill the Christian that it is to kill the Muslim. That's the principle that's being used here. Let's see the principle. Let's so, see verse 27, 27, verse number 4. Can you read of Leviticus which no, you rely on? No. Okay, can you're you not read? changing the subject. No, it's, it's the same subject. Can okay. You, okay, can you read uh, Deuteronomy 13, 7, 12? Here's another one. Sunan, so here's another one. Sunan Ibn Majah, 2644. The messenger of Allah ruled that the blood money for the people of the book is half that of the blood money for the Muslims. They are the Jews and the Christians. Here's another one. Here's another one. Sorry, let me just get the reference for you. So this is Mutawala Malik, blood money. Just see if I can get the reference. Book 43, Hadith number 8. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Related to me from Malik, from Yahya ibn Sayyid, that Suleiman ibn Yasser said, the blood money for a magician is 800 dirhams. Malik said, 
the blood money of the Jews and the Christians and the Magian in their injuries is according to the injury of the Muslims in their blood monies the head wound is a twelfth of his blood money the wound that opens the head is a third of his blood money the belly wound is a third of his blood money is that fair? You can't picture it black and white. You need to look at the reasons of why it was said. Because we need to know which Christian Jesus is talking about. So does that make a difference? It depends on Jesus talking about. Because some Christians and Jews yeah. were... Um, uh, I think, I'm not sure this. They were cross, uh, had the courts. They had a treaty. Christian Jews and the Muslims. Yeah. They signed a treaty. Yeah. They were all... Obey, every, Christians have the right to worship Jews as well. They yeah. Alcohol. Some of them, they didn't stick to that treaty. And the prophets... Um, killed them. Or, um, yes, he did kill them. Yes. He did now, kill them. I need to look at which Christian Jews are talking about because it's not talking about the Christian Jews now today. Oh, wait, hold on one second because here's where you're wrong. Every Islamic empire, every single one, the Fatimids, the Umayyads, the Seljuks, the, um, the Ottomans, every single Islamic empire has applied this principle that the life of a Christian is half that of a Jew, of a Muslim. Every single Islamic empire has applied that principle. In Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, it's still being done today. Saudi Arabia has been dominated by Islam for 1400 years. There's no other country in the world that has been so saturated in Islam than Saudi Arabia. So the point is, bro, you're a good man. I can tell that because you don't want to value my life as half that of your life. And for that, I applaud you. For that, I shake your hand and I say you're a good man. But the reality is you're better than your prophet and you're better than your religion. By contrast, by contrast, my religion in the Old Testament is very clear. You should be treated the same as me. No, says that explicitly. Shall I prove it to you? Because I, Shall I prove that to you? Can you read? Can you, can, no, no. Ask that, okay, I'll show you. Read, I'll show you. Ask him to read. Uh, uh, I forget the, the, the reference. Uh, Matthew 18, 17, 18. Matthew 17. 18, 17, 18. Okay, let me show you what, what I said. Let me show you what I said. He doesn't want to talk okay. to me. He likes to talk to you. No, I've you offered agree. to talk you to you agree. on Skype. You agree with him more. I've you offered to good. talk to you, you on Skype. Allah, he to is him. better than you, you better because you would turn me into and a second-class citizen. I am a Muslim and he wouldn't. Who can, who can show him what condemn him okay. as a Bible? He doesn't want like to talk to me. Here you go, bro. He likes to talk to me, to me no, only on Skype. Private. In private. Oh, yeah, in private. Because he wants to turn me into a second-class citizen. You don't. You are a second-class citizen. There you go. You are. There you go. Uh, you are. Do you condemn I him for that? Why? I say why. There you I go. Say why? Right. I look, bro. Why. Look. Because Allah subhanahu bro, are you talking to me or are you talking to him? Because okay. They Let's know, walk away, guys. He doesn't want to talk anymore. Thank you, bro. So, ladies and gentlemen, we challenge Muslims to justify the fact that Islam teaches that I should be made into a second class citizen. And instead of coming up with some clever argument, that demonstrated why I was wrong, what did we capture on film? Not one, not two, not three, but four Muslims all saying that Christians and Jews are the worst of creatures and should be treated as second class citizens. And he's, he, there you go, he's saying, he's saying it again. He's saying it again. Yep. There you go. You a Christian. There you go. I, am, I go to help fire. At what to point? I go to at help what fire. point do we say that this is wrong? At what point do I we stand up to this teaching? I go to help fire. At what I don't point in Jesus as do we God. recognize I don't that there is a problem? I don't believe a problem God. that we need to do stand I up to. to help fire or I go to when paradise? do we do that? What question? Why are we ignoring? The evidence, both in person Jesus 
is a goal. And in you scripture. Go to hellfire or go to and we've seen you that see the Bible offers a better way. I go to we see the Bible offers a better way. I don't believe in, I don't that believe says that he Jesus should be trapped in war equal to me as a native born. That's what the Bible says. In complete contrast to what his holy books say. Okay. Any questions? Any questions on topic? Yeah, yeah, you can't do the topic, bro. No, no, like I'm asking you to read. Uh, Matthew 18, 17, 18, and see how okay. Jesus condemns the Gentiles as the taxpayer, as they are, Gentiles are considered yep. uh, pagan and clean, and only the Jews who are circumcised are clean. You are unclean according to Jesus. Okay. You are not circumcised. Let's let's just stand out of the horse poo. Yeah, let, let, let. And just to humour, let's stand this way so that no one else is standing in the horse poo. <laughs> just to humour Yaya on this one thing. I'm not going to get in a big debate with him. Yeah. Because Yaya has a script. You see it right there. He comes down every week. And every week he gets busted on his script. <laughs> but then he comes back the next week and just does the script again. Three, three months I didn't come over. Okay. So let, let's just look at this one verse for Yaya. A man that I've offered to talk to in private and hasn't taken me up on my offer. Ah, why, 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 Yaya? Why don't you take me up on my offer, Yaya? Why don't you talk to me in private? talk in the private, uh, but uh, you know... Look at my camera, thank you. Right, so what verse are we going to? He wants to take picture for us. Well, put your arms around each other, and that is love. That's definitely love from me. There's definitely love from me. See, I want Yaya to be treated as an equal citizen in law. But Yaya wants to turn me into a second class citizen. That's the difference between Islam you know, and Christianity. You know, say that we are all in right. the sight of God. Matthew what? Uh, Matthew wait, what? We are all in the Matthew sight what? of God. Matthew what? This is your last yeah. chance. Matthew what? 18. Matthew 18. 17, 18. Let's have a look. Matthew 17 and 18. Okay. 18, 17, 18. Read I'm it. just going to do this one thing for you, Yaya. Thank you very much. You're grateful. But don't think that this is going to turn into a big debate, because it really no, no, isn't. No, no, no. We'll just read it and you explain it. Okay, I will, I will. Matthew 17, sorry, 18, did you say? Uh, yeah, 18. Verse 17, 17 and, 18. and 18. Okay, let's have a look. Right. So, it says, If he refuses to listen them to them, Tell it to the... Are you sure it's Matthew 18, 17 and 18? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. If you want... If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Okay. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed okay. in heaven. Now you've asked me to explain it, so yeah. let me explain it. Is our Lord establishing the idea that I as a Gentile should be treated as a second class citizen? Absolutely not. But he is speaking to a Jewish audience. And the Jewish audience in their mind have a category that distinguishes between Jew and Gentile. And the Gentile is outside of the Commonwealth of Israel. And therefore, according to the Old Covenant, they are not part of the people of God, they're not part of the Covenant, they're not part of the promises. Christ is teaching that they are the not Jewish... Equal. One second. That they are not equal to let the me, Jews. You asked me to explain it. I'm explaining it. Yeah. So you so, confirm it. Uh, let, let me explain it. I'm, I, I'm sorry. Okay. So Christ, Christ is teaching Jewish Christians using a category that they already have. But consider that Christ himself treat the centurion like a Jew. Remember what he said when the centurion said, Oh Lord, come and heal my servant. And the Jewish people had said to him, Come 
and heal this centurion servant. He's, I can't remember whether it's servant or daughter. A servant. And Christ was going to his house to heal him, just like he had healed many Jews before. And then the centurion said, Lord, it's not necessary for you to come to my house. Only say the word and my servant shall be healed because I am one under authority and I say to my servant come and he comes and I say to my servant go and he goes so merely say the word and Christ replied what I have not found anyone who has faith like this in Israel so he spoke of a Gentile as being a, within Israel and treat them like a Jew. So his words are not literal. Go on, you can have one reply. One reply. So actually he distinguished between uh, the Jew at his time and non-Jew because uh, as well in Matthew 7, 6, he called non-Jew as swine and don't throw your peril for them. So he was actually distinguish between two people and this make him somehow racist between uh, a Jew and non-Jew because as he is a Jew and he's coming for the Jew only and there is some as you mentioned there's some uh, uh, when he talked to the woman uh, to the woman who uh, was seeking his help to cure her daughter and he grant her that and the centurion man you you do besides these two uh, two uh, incidents there was uh, he refuses to uh, to uh, to deal with uh, with gentiles and we agree about that as he uh, order and command his apostle not to go among gentiles or or, or smart yen, rather to go to the lordship of israel only uh, thank you very much I, 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 i'm done okay so allow me to reply. Thank you very much, Yaya. Firstly, Jesus himself went to the Samaritans who were not considered Jews. Jesus himself was going to the centurion's house who was not a Jew. Jesus himself healed the, uh, the daughter of the Sinophoenician who was not a Jew. So the reality is, yes, Christ spoke to a Jewish audience who in the context of the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, had a sharp distinction between Jew and Gentile. Apostles out to the world to teach and baptize the nations as disciples of him. That's everyone. That's not just Jews. The reality is what Yaya is doing, he is, straining an, he is straining a camel and he is choking on a gnat because he takes Christ's words and he ignores the example of Christ's behavior. Surely the best interpreter of Christ's words is Christ's own behavior. And if he is willing to speak to Samaritans, heal Gentiles, heal Sinophoenicians, then that means that his words should not be understood or interpreted in the way that Yahya is trying to explain them as being. Thank you, Yahya. Thank you. Just one, just, be, yeah, just, just because I want to be kind to you. Say, I'll let him have the last word and then we'll uh, stop. You, you know, you and me, you agree with me that Jesus is upon him. Uh, preach for three years and command his apostle not to go among Gentiles or, or Smartians. Rather, what happened after the resurrection, suddenly he changed his mind and he asked the apostle to go to the all nation. Why during his ministry three years, uh, he commands them then change his mind after the resurrection according to the Bible? In one sentence, uh, because the, in, the resurrection inaugurates the commencement of the new covenant. Okay. The old covenant was just for the Jews. Okay. The new covenant 
takes the promises given to the Jews and says that the Gentiles can be grafted in to Israel and receive the full promises of the Old Covenant as part of the New Covenant. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, have a good day. Even, even, have a good day, yeah. Even, yeah. even if that convinced me, because what... what yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to stop. Yeah. I'm going to stop. No, but uh, just... Uh, no, I'm going to stop, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Have Thank a good you day. Very much. Talk to me on Skype. That's why we're connected on Skype. Thank you very much. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of talks and then I guess we'll stop as well. Yeah.